bands? You're out. Grunge? You're f***ing in. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Billboard chart-topping rock songs of the 90s. For this list, we're focusing on the definitive rock songs of the 90s that became Billboard number ones, whether it was on the Hot 100, rock, or alternative charts. Yeah, 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 I don't know. While on previous lists in this series we only included songs that were on the Hot 100, we have opened up the criteria to include the other rock lists as rock music faded out of the mainstream throughout the 90s. Number 10, No Rain, Blind Melon. In the early 90s, a musician from Lafayette, Indiana moved to LA and met up with his sister's pal from high school, Axl Rose. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry today. After singing back up for Guns N' Roses, Shannon Hoon became one of the most recognizable frontmen of alternative rock thanks to Blind Melon's outcast classic entitled No Rain. Anyone with a creative bone in their body knows what it's like to be misunderstood, and this single took a comedic approach to all those that fly under the radar. Unfortunately, Hoon passed away of a cocaine overdose in 1995, but No Rain remains an essential component of the early 90s alt-rock scene. So stay with me and have it made. Number 9. Losing My Religion, R.E.M. With vocals that were recorded in just one take, Michael Stipe reciting the hauntingly beautiful lyrics took the song right to number one on both the mainstream and modern rock charts. That's me in the spot, like losing my religion. Of course, the brilliant music video played a major role in the song's success, as director Tarsem Singh channeled both Italian painter Caravaggio and Russian director Andrei Tarkovsky for a truly intellectual take on someone becoming deeply pissed off. I thought that I heard you laughing. Losing My Religion established R.E.M. as one of the leading acts of alternative music, while Drive became another hit the following year. That was just a dream, just a dream, just a dream, dream. Number 8, 1979, Smashing Pumpkins. Shake down. a dream pop anthem of outcast adolescence, and the defining track of melancholy and the infinite sadness. Everybody knows what it's like to be at that awkward stage of life. You know, when you're not old enough to be considered an adult, but far from being an innocent kid. With 1979, Billy Corgan captured the essence of the teenage experience through a lyrical journey of freak and geeks, accompanied by a chilled out musical framework. Hung down with the freaks and Smashing Pumpkins won the Alternative Video of the Year at the MTV Video Music Awards, and 1979 became an essential topic of discussion for all types of 90s rock fans. Got it. Number 7. Lightning Crashes. Live. Lightning crashes, a new mother cries. Contrary to popular opinion, this Billboard number one is not about a mother passing away during the act of childbirth. In fact, it's a celebration of life, as an elderly woman passes away in a hospital while a younger woman welcomes a newborn down the hall. Oh, my feeling coming back again. So, we're deeply apologetic if we just destroyed your interpretation of the heart-wrenching number one. With all due respect to selling the drama, another number one hit from the same album, 
It was lightning crashes which thoroughly ripped the hearts out of listeners as they tried to understand what in the hell was taking place. It was the circle of life. Number six, mysterious ways. You too. Funky and surreal, this cryptic U2 single from Actung Baby will make you get on your knees and beg for mercy. Or perhaps heighten your concept of the ideal woman. All right. she moves in way. Mysterious Ways is somewhat of a free self-help lesson for men struggling with their concept of love, as U2 seems to be saying, it's alright, she might be a goddess, but don't be such a wimp. Regardless, it's an unusually playful song from the legendary band, and consumers undoubtedly bought the message. Number 5. Loser. Beck. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. in my veins, and I'm out to cut the chunky. Born and raised in LA, Beck Hansen found himself broke and penniless in the early 90s New York City music scene. But that's not what made him a loser. So shave your face with some mace in the dark. It was his devastating attempt to mimic the style of public enemies Chuck D. Yes! Was the start of my last jam, so here it is again, another death jam. But when Beck returned to his native city and began improvising songs for live audiences, he and producer Carl Stevenson slowly morphed the nonsensical lyric foundation into a hipster musical classic. Upon receiving a negative response to his rhymes, Beck came up with his iconic chorus. Number 4. Scar Tissue – Red Hot Chili Peppers Scar Tissue that I wish you saw Scar Captain Mr. Know It for their seventh studio album, the Red Hot Chili Peppers adopted a more chilled out musical style while lead singer Anthony Kiedis embraced a new blonde look, but remained shirtless of course. Lyrically, Scar Tissue represents the emotional journey of a hopeless wanderer, and in this case, you might say it's a metaphor for Kiedis' long-standing relationship with his bandmates. Eight years prior to this late 90s ballad, the Chili Peppers released another iconic hit with Give It Away, and they would kick off the 2000s with Californication. Dream of Californication. Yet another defining single of the decade. Interstate Love Song, Stone Temple Pilots. It's no easy task to replace yourself at number one on the Billboard rock charts, but that's exactly what Stone Temple Pilots did with this quintessential grunge single. For poetic verses of Interstate Love Song, Scott Whelan details a crumbling relationship and the escape that follows. However, the true antagonist of the story was the singer himself, as he was struggling with a crippling heroin addiction. Their 1994 album Purple, some might say that STP ruled the year, as it was their second song of the year to reach number one on the modern rock chart. Number two, Better Man, Pearl Jam. Waiting, watching the clock is, four o'clock is, got 
Written by lead singer Eddie Vedder when he was still in high school, this sarcastic take on true romance was occasionally performed by the singer before his rock star days. However, as Pearl Jam rose to fame, it ultimately topped the Billboard mainstream rock charts for eight consecutive weeks. Better Man is clearly about a woman lost in love, Better once dedicated a live performance of the song to his stepfather. But regardless of the original subject, Pearl Jam's slow progression into an all-out frenzy made for an unforgettable musical experience. And don't get us started about their early hit, Daughter. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana When hair bands were still fighting for a spot on the Billboard charts, a new band emerged from the Pacific Northwest, and they could not have given two thoughts about fame. But they got it anyway. Smells Like Teen Spirit received its title when Kathleen Hanna of Bikini Kill made fun of Kurt Cobain's smell. Not only did the song introduce Nirvana to a world of disparate youths, it inadvertently marked the unofficial beginning of the grunge movement with an unforgiving sound and subversive lyrics. So. Do you agree with our selections? What is your favorite chart-topping Billboard song of the 90s? For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Right